So in this video, we are going to demonstrate how we can find cross-site scripting vulnerability in real world applications. So uh, for demonstration, we are going to use a lab which is testphp.vulnerweb.com. So we will be assuming that this website is not a lab website, instead it is a real full working website. Okay, so now the first thing that you need to do to find cross-site scripting is to find an input point. So let's try to find any uh, input points over this website. So as you can see, there is one input point over here. So we have identified an input point. Now the second thing is to pass any value in the input point. For example, I am going to type my name which is Fayyaz and let's click on go. Now the st third step. If the input is reflecting back to you, then there is a chance that this uh, web page might be vulnerable to cross-site scripting. So, as you can see, I have typed Fayaz and when I clicked on go, the Fayaz is getting reflected back to the back to the user, right? So, uh, let us confirm that the Fayaz is reflecting over here. Let me do this. And uh, let us see Fayaz, okay. Let me just click on view play source again. Fayaz. And as you can see, the Fayaz is reflecting back to us, which means that any input we are going to type in the a search input field it is going to reflect back to us which means that our input is somewhere uh, embedded in the web page right as you can see this is embedded in the h2 tag now step number four let us try to add another less than and greater than symbol inside the input page and let us see how the web page reacts to it so let me try to do this for yas less than and greater than and now let's try to see what happens as you can see it is also getting rendered and uh, let me try to uh, sorry let me try to view play source and let me search for yas and as you can see whatever we are giving in the input field is getting reflected back to us without any filter so as you can see it is also allowing dangerous characters like greater than and less than symbol to render as it is so now there is a high probability that this website is now vulnerable to cross-site scripting vulnerability so we are going to type a javascript payload in the input field finally and let us see what happens when we try a uh, normal javascript into the input field try to do this script alert one script that close so if this side is vulnerable to cross-site scripting then we will see an alert one pop up let me click on go and as you can see we get an alert one which means that this side is vulnerable to cross-site scripting we check the source code then we can find oh, sorry let me do this again find that script alert and as you can see our script alert one is reflecting as it is without any filter so we can confirm that this website is vulnerable or this particular flow which is the uh, input functionality is vulnerable to process scripting attack now let us try to find another process scripting vulnerability in this web application. So let me go to guestbook and as you can see we have found another input field in the web application which is the comment field right. Let us try to provide any input over there let's say Fayaz and an add and as you can see the Fayaz is getting reflected back to us. So let us check the source code and let me type Fayaz over here and as you can see Fayaz is reflecting somewhere over here, right? Inside some table data. Now, what happens if I try to do something like Fayaz less than data than? And let me add this again. And as you can see, it is also reflecting back to us. Let us view the source code. Uh, let us view the source code here. Fayaz greater than less than. And as you can see, it is also reflecting as it is without any filter. And now finally, we are going to type our dangerous JavaScript payload. Just skip alert one script are close and let me click on add message and as you can see we successfully got an alert one pop up which means that this comment functionality is also vulnerable to cross-site scripting. Now if you don't know about what cross-site scripting is then I highly recommend you to check our blog whose link is given down in the description so that you can learn more about this uh, vulnerability from scratch. So. I hope you understand how we can find a cross-site scripting vulnerability in any web application. 
the process remains same and it will vary a little bit depending on which website you are hacking on so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching